Okay, this is a continuation of our um, web programming project where we're demonstrating using AJAX. We got to this stage where we were getting a title to show up, um, but it was just showing up for the last book viewed, and the, the program exercise wanted us to show up when you mouse over uh, one of the book titles. So, actually they wanted the title to show up when you moused over the, the hover image. So we need to figure out where to put um, code to do that. And I recommended um, a virtual function to do that. So you might need to review the code and the syntax for adding that type of function. But basically you're just going to use the image tag which has already been defined, and we want to set the on mouse over. You might need to check that property, check the syntax, the capitalization for that. But the syntax of the function goes like this. And to test this, uh, we can just put the code that was setting the inner HTML to title within this function. And we're just doing this as a as an incremental step, something that we can do uh, one little thing to change and see how it works rather than making a bunch of changes and trying to get it perfect and not knowing where we went wrong. So we can try to do just this one little thing by moving that code, which we already know works, uh, and putting it into the mouse over event. Which we created the function for. So we'll save this, uh, upload this new version to the web server, and refresh our web browser page and see what kind of result we get. Now, previously we had the title showing up, but it was only showing the title for the, the last book at one point. So we want to check to see if it's working for all books or just the last book. And sure enough, it's only working on the last book. And another problem is that that title is staying on there the whole time. So let's uh, add the code to make the title go away when the mouse is not over that uh, cover. And we're just going to change the event to be on mouse out. And you can pause it and think about what you do for a second, but just setting it to an empty string, setting it to two double quotes should do it. So again, we'll save this, upload it to the server, refresh the web browser, and see if our mouse out works. And it continues to be the case that when we put our mouse over any cover other than the last one, uh, we're not getting a title to show up. But when we put the mouse over the final one, it does show up. And when we mouse out, it shows up. So we need to work on correcting that. And if you haven't already, I recommend you pause the video, work on it yourself, and then come back to the video for a reference to try to get it working. You'll get a lot more out of the exercise, and you'll learn a lot more by doing it that way. If you've given up on that at this point, or if you're back with us after working on it yourself, just to see if I've done it a different way than you came up with, then uh, that's great. Um, basically, the problem is that this title uh, is only being, we're only getting the title for that last that last thing. So this is the stage we're at now, this, this tip that I gave you. To associate the title with the image so you have a way to reference it. At the end of the previous video, we got the title working for the different images, um, but uh, and we had to move it into the, into the loop to do that. So we were able to get the different titles at the different points in time. But we also need to associate the title with that particular image. 
There's a few different ways you can do this. So you might not have chosen this particular method, but I'm going to set the ID property of the image tag to the title. There's several several other ways you could have done this um, using DOM. But I'm going to set the title that I, I just got for each each book. Right? I'm inside the loop, right? That's where I'm getting the titles and getting the images. I'm going to associate that title with that book uh, or with that the title with that image in the for loop by setting the ID tag. Then instead of uh, using the title in my inner HTML line here, remember that title, that's a variable. It's only going to hold the last one from the loop. So I don't want to use title every time. I want to use the ID of that particular image. How do I know what the ID of that particular image is? How do I know what image I'm on? That's where you use the keyword this. And this is going to be able to identify which image it's on. And it'll use the ID of that particular image to set the title. All right, this is a very important step. It's very important you understand. Put some good comments in here if you're going to turn this in as a program exercise to, under, to uh, demonstrate that you understand how this works. Uh, we're saving, uploading, refreshing, and still only working on the last one. So either we've got something wrong with the code that we just modified, or we've got to perhaps move it to a different place. So let's uh, take a closer look at our code. And let's try moving that mouse over and mouse out event and those functions to a different spot in the code. The only other thing you see you might notice that I added here was that, that eval line. It's going to work with or without that. So you don't actually have to do that, but it's something you could add and, and document for your practice. Uh, the eval keyword is going to evaluate some code. So you'll see this will work without it in this browser at least. All right, so we're going to look at our loop and think about where we might want to put these functions um, so that the title for all the different ones are going to work. And I'm going to try putting it here where um, underneath where we set the attribute. You could try in some different places. might work. Save, upload, refresh. And test the mouse over and mouse out. And it's working.